in the twelfth canto. Part of the twelfth canto. There is Vyasadeva's authoritative description of what will take place in Kali Yuga. I remember one of the most beautiful experiences of my life was sitting with Srila Prabhupada. It was at New Vrindavan. He would always go outside and have a darshan and speak to the devotees. It was usually about 30 or 40 devotees who would come every night. I got to go every night. But one night it was raining and cold, so he stayed inside his house. And everyone, again, his servant, his assistant, told us when we came to there that Prabhupada's feeling ill and it's very cold and it's very raining, so he's not having darshan tonight. So we were all kind of brokenhearted, understanding, and we walked away. And then the assistant came back to the door and said, Prabhupada's calling you inside. <laughs> so we all went inside. And Prajumana Prabhu, he said, Prabhupada's feeling ill, he will not speak, but he wants me to read from the twelfth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. From the very book that Prabhupada was taking his translations, he was translating from this book with all the commentaries. And he was right, reading these symptoms of Srimad Bhagavatam, and every symptom Prabhupada got really enthusiastic and was explaining, just see, Vyastev knows, past, present, and future. In one place, Pradumana Prabhu read, people will think that beauty is growing your hair long. And Prabhupada said, yes! 5,000 years ago, there was no hippie movement. <laughs> but Vyas, Dave could see the hippie movement coming. <laughs> but if you read, What's going to happen in Kali Yuga? This is fact. This is not just some symbolic thing. The main subjects that Vyasadeva is emphasizing on is how there will be plagues, there will be pestilence, there will be famine, there will be so many diseases People in their minds will have so much fear and so much anxiety, and the leaders of countries will be arrogant and exploitative. You know, somebody like Hitler, he came much after. But the Bhagavatam is talking about that psychology of people who are so arrogant and have such a controlling spirit and are willing to be so cruel to people, and they, and they get leadership positions. And how difficult and how painful the Kali Yuga is. Now we have coronavirus. It's exactly the kind of situation that Srimad Bhagavatam 5,000 years ago told it's going to happen. And it's only going to happen more and more and more as Kali Yuga progresses. In the Middle Ages in Europe, there was the Black Plague. It was called Black Death. And it was like a virus. It literally killed, in many countries, half the population. It just went on and on. So human history these types of plagues, these types of pestilence, these types of diseases that go mass into epidemics and pandemics, they've always been here in the world. It's the nature of the world. The world reacts to human karma and reacts to so many situations in this age of Kali. And of course, the sages of Naima Sharanya, they could see all these things happening. At the beginning, the beginning of the Srimad Bhagavatam, they understood what was at the very end, the description of Kali Yuga. What's the solution to all this? 
How can we help people in this age of Kali when all these things are going to happen? And Sutta Goswami, he repeated what he learned from Sukadev Goswami as the reply. Srimad Bhagavatam tells, in the darkness of the age of Kali, Srimad Bhagavatam is the light that gives hope and that gives shelter and that gives Krishna. And the culmination of Srimad Bhagavatam, last verse, is simply by offering obeisances to Krishna and chanting Krishna's holy names. One can get the shelter of Krishna and be re relieved of all sins and all sufferings. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.